Hi everyone, this is Chad, once again coming to you with a new video. This time the subject we're going to be talking about is, like you've probably noticed from the title, none other than the well-known son of Naruto Uzumaki and Sakura Harno, Shinachiku Uzumaki. Because yes, in a parallel universe, the Fanon one, these two rightfully ended up with each other and had a beautiful family. But this video won't talk just about Shinachiku, he's the focus of it, yes, but there's still a lot to talk about the other Narsaku children too. Why? Well, because over the years the format of the Narsaku family evolved greatly. The first Narsaku kids weren't even closely related to Shinachiku's concept. His appeared a lot later in the fandom. That is why today I'm going to be walking you down on the path of memory lane and delve together with you on the history of the Narsaku children and more specifically Shinachiku. Why is that I chose to focus on this particular subject for this video? Because the subject of Shinachiku Uzumaki seems to gain a lot of traction as of lately, especially after the video made by the channel called Shinobi Return some time ago. But sadly, I've only seen wrong facts being presented about him and his other siblings, such as him having the same relationship the official kid Borto has with his father. This couldn't be farther from the truth. That is why today we're going to be talking about the general facts you should know about Shinachiku and the other Narsaku children. So hop on! The first Narsaku artist and Narsaku kids to gain massive popularity in the Narsaku fandom was an artist named Eve and her Narsaku children. They've been around at least before 2009. In terms of names, we cannot remember exactly what she named them, but what we do know for sure is that these children were created before the manga revealed all the details surrounding Kushina's pregnancy, Naruto's birth, and why he had the whiskers, which by the way is not genetic, but that's another issue for another day. Most Naruto children, Narsaku or not before, had the whisker marks. Eve was ahead of the curve and drew the Narsaku children with two whisker marks, like the canon manga sequel does so today. With time, Eve's Narsaku children faded into obscurity. Most recent Narsaku fans probably have no idea who they are, but her fan and children would not be the last ones to gain massive popularity in the Narsaku fandom. The next Narsaku child to gain popularity was Kasumi and has been around since at least 2009. Kasumi was created by the great artist Lady GT who gained popularity for her skills in being able to imitate almost any mangaka's drawing style. For many years Kasumi was a THE Narsaku child. She gave life to many fan arts and some fan fictions with her as the future protagonist or background character of Naruto and Sakura stories. Notably, Kasumi was never drawn with the whisker marks. This may be because she was created after Naruto's birth, around the time of Road to Ninja in 2012 which we will discuss about later, Lady GT added Shinachiku as Kasumi's older brother based on Kishimoto's interviews about a potential Naruto son. While Kasumi drew a lot of praise, she also drew a lot of criticism and hatred from non narsaku fans at the time for reasons unknown. Kasumi is still a popular and familiar face in the Narsaku fandom because of Lady GT's impact and legacy, but she's not widely used anymore. The next Narsaku child to gain a sizable following at the time was Orenji Uzumaki by Ravinia. Orenji was created and reached the height of his popularity around the release of Rota Ninja in 2012. By the time Orenji was created, Narsaku fans pretty much set in stone that Naruto's children should not have the whiskers, based on what the manga stated, which was that the reason Naruto had it is because he was exposed to Kurama's chakra while in his mother's womb. And since men aren't the one who carried the baby, there is no reason for the children to have the whiskers. Unfortunately, Orange's popularity was short-lived, as content from Ravinia decreased over the years. Around the time of Shinachiku's creation, Ravinia returned and added Shinachiku as, of course, Orange's little brother. Which is quite fitting since, you know, Orange was born first. 
Those are the main Arsaku children of the past, but it would be rude not to have some honorable mentions that had their own short-lived spotlight in the past. This includes children from Pumi and Xkaeli, both created before the ending, but did not use the name Shinachiku. However, we have another honorable mention of Narsaku children that were created before the ending, which is Hanako. Artists such as Ice Titania developed a character named Hanako, dating back more than a year prior, but she didn't become a star until after the ending hit. It is unclear whether people became inspired by Ice Titania's character or not, but the name Hanako began picking up steam in the Narsaku fandom really quickly. Soon enough, the artist Datebe drew her own version of Hanako along with the concept of Hanami being her twin sister. Both girls still had pink hair and blue eyes with matching ponytails on top of their head. Drawings of Hanako became less frequent in the fandom until another artist, Zephi Mankai, introduced her own version of Hanako. She still appeared to have pink hair and blue eyes, but her hair was tied in a bun or ponytail. Unlike other Hanakos, she had a Byakugo seal on her forehead. Hanako is typically seen as Shinachiku's younger sister or Hanami's twin sister. What does Shinachiku mean? Shinachiku means bamboo shot. It's the same thing as Menma, which is a topping for ramen. In 2012, with the release of Road to Ninja, in an interview, Kishimoto joked if Naruto would to have a son, he would name him Shinachiku, since he used the name Menma for Naruto's alter ego, so he cannot use Menma twice. At some point, probably every fandom that Naruto was part of juggled with this idea. However, in the test of time, the Narsaku fandom prevailed, and this is how Shinachiku Uzumaki is known today to be the son of the Narsaku pairing within the fandom. Prior to the ending, Shinachiku and most nameless and named Narsaku kids were depicted with green eyes and blonde hair. Pre-ending Shinachiku didn't really seem to have a personality either, as he was depicted as a baby boy or young child. Shinachiku as a fully fleshed out character did not come out until the ending of the manga back in 2014. After that, other than expressing disappointment, one question rang in the heads of the Tumblr Narsaku fans. What about Shinachiku? Back then, the fandom decided to answer itself the question. There is no way to tell who exactly pulled the trigger, but like a flip of a switch, Narasaku artists and writers started pumping out ideas left and right. Ideas were tossed around, adopted, or thrown out. It was like a giant melting pot of ideas that took place over a couple of weeks. Narasaku fandom came together in a big creative expression effort. As a result of that, November 7 ended up being his date of birth, given that this is when his popularity blew up. Prior to that, the dates of birth varied. At the end of the melting pot, Shinachiku was officially born and a few ideas dominated over the rest, such as blonde hair, green eyes, Datebaro, imposter syndrome, inferiority complex, kind but hates bullshit, hidden temper, green, Byakugo. Popular artists who helped push this idea in that direction included Date Bay, Suki Eko, Shy Girl 914, Kaleta Holstein. These ideas beat out retired ideas such as pink hair, blue eyes, Shane Bayo, which doesn't make sense, Naruto-like personality, orange, wanting to be Hokage, whiskers, retired, less popular concepts by Papa Naruto, Date Bay, Planet Pix, and Beer Dudu can be observed further. One must understand, the creation of Shinachiku and dozens and dozens of fan art and fan fiction was created by the Narasaku fandom in a matter of days to establish him as the future of the fandom, something that could be used for fan work moving forward. This was very important. At first, pink hair, blue eyes Shinachiku was very popular. The fandom played with the idea of Shinachiku being ridiculed for his hair, for example. In the end, people still preferred blonde hair and green eyes, but appended Shina's desire to have pink hair instead. In the beginning, Narasaku fans used Shanebayo and similar combinations of Datebayo and Shannaro, but it was quickly corrected that combining the two phrases makes no sense. Shannaro is like a battle cry, while Datebayo is a verbal tick. Following the tradition, Ro was added to Dateba, going by Naruto's Datebayo and Kushina's Datebane. It's not a combination of Datebayo and Shannaro, because as previously stated, the two 
two have nothing in common given that one is a verbal tick and the other is a battle cry. However, the fact that you could say that it could be looked as one is just a coincidence. A funny one nevertheless, but a coincidence nonetheless. At first, many Narusaku fans assumed Shina would want to be Hokage like his father. You know, the nature of circular storytelling. But people suggested newer ideas. And so, instead, the fandom decided Konohamaru's story made more sense, with Shina being overshadowed by his father the same way Konohamaru was by his grandfather. Now, don't be mistaken, Shinachiko is a good kid, and he's very nice, but Shina has a breaking point. It's not unlike Sakura's inner persona, but it is not an inner persona at all, it's just bubbling under the surface. This persona was created around the time the fandom decided Shina would not want to become Hokage. His father, siblings, or friends' antics sometimes earn Shina's cold, snarky responses. This side of him is so rare, it usually startles people. Understandably, when Shinachiko was created, a lot of Narusaku fans coded him in orange, Naruto's color. This is when Shina's personality was still being molded, so his colors were either red or orange like his parents. Slowly but surely, green made its way into popularity. Some artists still draw Shinachiko in orange from time to time, but green, a nice spring color that matches his eyes and the color of bamboo is undoubtedly Shinachiko's official color followed by the color red. This still influences creative decisions today, such as watermelon being Shinachiku's favorite ice cream. One thing is for certain, throughout Shinachiko's development as a living breathing son of Naruto and Sakura, his powers were always closer to Sakura's than Naruto's. Shinachiko has a larger chakra pool, but not as large as his father. For this reason, the fandom gave Shinachiko healing in Jutsu, but also the Byakugo so he could store up even more chakra should he need it. With this, he rival Naruto's chakra pool after saving up for a while. The fandom played with the location of Byakugo, placing it on his palm and on his chest at various points. It was a weird, suspicious coincidence a canon character would later on get a similar symbol on his palm, just like the Narusaku fandom was portraying Shinachiku years before. Later down the line, the fandom contemplated his sensei and team. Shinachiko's team still varies from artist to artist, but many Narusaku fans now accept Lee as his sensei over other characters such as Sasuke. Lee's work hard to make your own path ideology suited Shina's plight better. Not to mention, Shina's favorite color is green, so he doesn't mind green suits. Secretly, of course. Before Lee was his sensei, Narusaku fans did play with the idea of Sasuke teaching or giving Shina something for his shinobi career. That's when the fandom decided on the Tanto. In actuality, Shinachiku stole these blades from Sasuke's storage room. He mostly learned how to wield and integrate them into his techniques on his own, but occasionally got guidance from Sasuke, who kept the secret that Shina originally stole them from him. The fandom decided Shinachiku's chakra natures to be wind, obviously, and earth. Over the years, the fandom has been playing with different techniques Shina could use and create. One that stuck around is Shina's super slicing technique with Byakugo strength and wind chakra on his blades. An often misquoted technique is the magnetic Rasengan, a Rasengan combined with Earth Nature Chakra that sucks things into it like a magnet, not magnet release like many have misinformed. Besides this, another technique that Shinachiku has mastered is the use of the eight gates. He combines this with Byakugo in order to be able to resist the harming the body goes through and the overexertion that comes as an after effect of using said technique. Shina's relationship with his parents is a good one. 
but as he goes into puberty, he becomes a bit awkward with his father due to the aforementioned imposter syndrome inferiority complex. This conflict has always been a major plot point in the Fanon lore. Sakura is a bit sharper than Naruto and knows what Shinachiku is going through, but you can't just fix an issue like that with a talk or two. So usually Sakura acts as a mediator between the two when things get heated, guiding them along the way until an understanding is made. Now, out of all the other siblings, the one who stuck the most in the end are none other than Hanami Uzumaki and Arashi Uzumaki. He generally has a good relationship with them, no drama being in the middle as his Minato-like demeanor is very prevalent. However, from time to time he can't help but get trapped in Hanami's pranks, since she is the one who is most like their father in his young ages. He is the more serious one, generally tries to be the bigger person and not get pulled into her schemes, but with Hanami, who is is really convincing, it's quite hard not to. However, Shina's protective of both her and his younger brother Arashi. If there's something that he and Hanami can totally agree on, is that Arashi needs to be protected at all costs. Both of them are really precious at the end of the day for him, even if Hanami's pranks might cause some good old brotherly quarrel between them from time to time. His protective nature is present in mostly all alternate universes that he's part of, as he's generally the one who plays the the older protective brother role. Given he is such a popular kid of the Narsakus, Shinachiko can be found in many different universes the fandom creates. Here are some of the most popular ones. This one is one of the most popularly known alternate universes by the artist. You might recognize the scenes between Shinachiku and his sensei Lee from this alternate universe. This alternate universe, also drawn by Pumi, is one of the most known after Hisedai, where Shinachiko along with young Naruto get to travel to the past in the times of his grandmother and grandfather. It's an alternate universe where lots of fun is guaranteed given that there's a lot of confusion going on between the characters and the family ties. This was an alternate universe that once again coincided with the canon storyline. However, like in the case with the Akugo symbol on Shina's pal, this one started before canon events as well, ended up intersecting with them given that behind canon content there's an army of people and Pumi is just one artist of the fandom. But how can this be, you'll wonder, if a simple search of Shinachiku Kekuden would show you only recent dates intersecting with canon storyline? How can we truly be sure that the idea was before and not after? It's because before being known as Shinachiku Kekuden, the idea started earlier, being first published in two 2017 as the first Naruto the fanfic. Time travel arc was a part of the whole story of the first Naruto fanfic. However, later on Pumi decided to make a standalone alternate universe from this arc and that is how Shinachiku Kyotoden was born. It's a funny coincidence with the canon storyline nevertheless. Xkaeli is another popular artist of the Narsaku fandom. She created Rebellion, which happens in an alternate Shinachiku universe. There, Naruto is dealing with an underground rebellion led by some of the minor villages and countries that have been affected by the change of their status in their world. Naruto, after the fourth ninja war, along with the other great villages, changed the way the ninja system worked. And for many of those minor villages that survived, doing underground jobs, they were left behind striking their economy and stability. In this alternate universe, Shinachiku is the love interest of Anzu Uchiha, who is Sasuke Uchiha and Karin Uzumaki's daughter. Like she tells us, the story focuses on Anzu's biggest dream and her feelings for him and has some choices to make. Which one will be? Well, you'll have to follow Kwon's story. Last but not least, there's Shinachiku Kousen, which you've probably heard about recently. Shinachiku Kousen is a collaborative effort between a lot of the Narsaku fandom artists, writers, editors, so on and so forth. This new storyline brings forth multiple ideas that you might have met before in other alternate universes along with some new original ideas. Being an effort that the fans do together, we've borrowed ideas from other personal alternate universes and hunt them to 
fit this new storyline. On top of that, like previously mentioned, we've added some original ideas. If you are followers of the Narsaku fans' content, you'll be able to tell the similarities and the differences the story will have when it will start airing. Nevertheless, look forward to this as it's a really fascinating project, I promise. Of course, you can find Shinachiku in many different universes and interpretations of other Narsaku artists and editors. But these are, like I said, some of the most popular ones. Many have speculated about this subject and the ships that Shinachiku is involved in. As a member of the Shinachiku Kozen project, I can tell you how many have already asked us about this aspect. Now, in Kozen, as a sneak peek, let us tell you that we haven't even thought about this possibility. However, in other works, you can find some Shinachiku ships to your liking. We talked about one of them being Shinachiku and Anzu Uchiha from Kon 91's Painful Dream Alternate Universe. Another notable ship for Shinachiku is is Shinachiku and Rika from x Kylie's Rebellion alternate universe. Their relationship is somewhat similar to that of Naruto and Sakura in the sense that they are very good friends from early childhood, then teammates, then end up marrying each other and have a family. Their dynamics is pretty similar to that of Narusaku, and in terms of how they get along together with Shina's parents, they are like Minakushi and Narusaku in the Road to Ninja movie. With this being said, this is where the story of Shinachiku Uzumaki ends. There are a lot of misconceptions about him out there, but I hope this video could clear some of them for you and help you learn some real facts about him. As part of the fandom for so many years, I felt that it's necessary to shed a light on this matter. Now, I know, I haven't touched so much base on his other most widely known siblings, Hanami and Arashi. I plan on doing that in a future video where I will be focusing on the Norsak family dynamic in its most popular form, Naruto, Sakura, Shinachiku, Hanami and Arashi. So if you're eager for that next video and you also have liked this video, I invite you to hit that subscribe button together with the notifications one so you can know what I post and don't lose any of the content that's going to be coming next. Like I said in my channel presentation video, I cannot have a regular posting schedule due to the amount of research and work I have to put into making these videos. By hitting the notification button, YouTube will let you know instantly that I uploaded a new video. So I will keep my promise to post at least once a month. Anyway, as I close this video, I want to ask you, what do you think about Shinachiku Uzumaki now that you have learned this new info? Is there something new you have learned about him or did you already know? Did this video clarify some of the misconceptions you have had due to the misinformation that has been circling around the internet or not? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. With this being said, I truly thank you for your time and attention. Talk to you in the next video. Yours truly, chat.